하트! A few blocks away from downtown Vancouver, this restaurant is consistently named in Canada's best 100 list. It started to exclusively provide tasting menus since COVID-2020. I'm not a drinker anymore, so I can't comment on any alcohol products. How's it going? But I want to say, I really like the bartender's voice. There are six courses usually in a regular tasting menu, changing every month, with two option main course. Our first appetizer here, the two bites, buttermilk fried chicken on the left, on the other right, is a real delight. Oyster topped with shaved foie gras, and underneath a hint of jalapeno mignonette. The foie is so smooth and gentle and just melts in your mouth together with the oyster. Foie is slightly sweet, goes very well with a hint of seawater. I nearly thought I had a scoop of sea salt vanilla gelato. Very creative and definitely the highlight of the entire menu. Our next step, a small plate of fresh greens just out of Barston Island locally with apple dill dressing and burrata at the bottom. Crispy greens with tangy green sauce. So refreshing and mouth-watering. Okay, first main. Off-the-shell mussels rested in rocky ford broth. Rocky ford is a type of blue cheese. It gives the broth the heaviness and rich flavor while complement the mussels' protein. You see the bright colors and mosaic effect come from the chorizo bits. So beautiful. The soup also comes with the side torn bread, another piece of art here. The bread is baked to 90% crispy outside and got a hint of salty flavor. Though becoming a little over salty dipping the rich soup with the bread, I finished the whole plate. The second main is slow poached halibut with chive bad block, some parmesan nano latte at the bottom. This would be a very standard main if without the annual latte, but I actually feel it's much better made than with the techniques than the halibut. Also adds some texture to the whole plate. Second to last dish here, aerated brie custard topped with fried sourdough and truffled honey. The aeration concept is great that gives the lightness to cheese ingredient, which contrasts with the crispy fried sourdough. But I'd rather had it without honey at the bottom. It's just a bit oversweet and heavy for my mouth. Um, another idea would be making this as a bite. Then you got lightness, crispiness, and heaviness just in one single shot. Lastly, two classic desserts from Anna Lena. Hazelnut crumb topped with charcoal seared meringue. On the other side, um, pistachio ice cream tart topped with wild blueberries. The wild blueberries are pretty sour actually, and none of the ingredients of the whole plate is too sweet, but just refreshing, lovely end. In general, I feel it a great tasting menu. The foie oyster dropped to kick off, then harmony garden blue fresh air, soup with some level of complexity, and then classic main dishes and desserts. This modern restaurant is worth to chill out. Thank you for watching my very first video. If you like it, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in next video.